match your partner's arousal from a place of empathy and support. I'm not saying if they're yelling, start yelling back, but here's what I'm saying. So let's say this is like middle of the road and they're up here and they're, they're upset and they're angry. Well, what happens if you're just sinking and just, oh, that's so awful and it's more than I can handle and you're, what are they gonna do? Get more loud and more aroused and, because they feel like you're pulling away from them. It's gonna exacerbate it. So here's, here's what you do. And I really do feel like a magician giving away my tricks because I do this with couples. So any of you who are my clients, you're gonna catch me doing this with you in a session. So she's saying, I'm so hurt. I just can't believe that you would do this to me. Here's what you do. You don't go, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry that I would do that. I know. Oh. You say, you're right. I did hurt you. I hurt you so bad. And you feel it every day. What did I just do? I went up. Whoa. One, that's going to surprise the system. And here's the other thing. What are you doing? You're moving toward your, that person. Emotions make us attuned to each other. You're going to attune to your partner better. He or she will feel you with them more. So go up. If they're intense, be intense in your reflection back to them. Again, if they're yelling, don't yell back, but just go up to their, just move in that direction. Again, you don't have to go all the way up. Move in that direction and they might actually then come here. Oh, because they're going up here because you're going down here. You're withdrawing. You're going downward. You're shutting down, pulling away, right? Or maybe you're going one up even more loud, neither of those is gonna work. They're here, you've been going this way, jump up here. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. When you do that, again, it's gonna form a tumor because that's what emotions do.